Hi there, thank you for tuning in to Monoprice.com on a YouTube channel. My name is Sean Blatherwick of the Monoprice Tech Support Team. Today we're going to show you how to make a CAT6 extension cable using the CAT6 Keystone Jack PID5379, CAT6 Wire PID2261, and the professional networking tool PID7055. The day before yesterday, I received an email from my friend John asking me a question. Let's check out the email. Hey Sean, I need to buy some cables to connect my new PC onto the internet, but I'm a little confused because Cat5e and Cat6 look the same to me. Can you tell me what the difference is? The difference between Cat5e and Cat6 is really simple. Cat5e cable is used for computer networks such as Ethernet and ATM, and is also used to carry many other signals such as telephony and video. This cable is certified to transfer data up to 100 MHz. CAT6 cable is known as the standard for Gigabit Ethernet. Compared with our CAT5e, CAT6 features stringent specifications for crosstalk and system noise. This cable provides performance up to 250 MHz. What this means is that CAT6 cable is faster and can handle more data. Let's see how you can make a CAT6 cable. To do so, you will need the following tools. For this installation, you will need PID7055, the Professional Networking Toolkit. This toolkit contains everything you need to make your own cables. PID5379, the CAT6 Keystone Jacks. PID2261, CAT6 Wire. Now I'm going to show you how to make your CAT6 extension cable. First step is to determine the length of the wire you need. Once you've done so, go ahead and cut it. Now that you have determined your length of wire, you're going to go ahead and you're going to strip the jacket off of the one end. It's okay to strip a little bit extra off. It makes the installation process a lot easier. And you see the CAT6 cable has this plastic divider in the middle. You no longer need that, so you can go ahead and cut that off. Be sure not to cut any of the other cables, or this will not work. Now that you have all your cables separated, you're going to look at your CAT6 keystone jack and you will see there's two color codes. You got 568A and 568B. Different uh, applications require A or B. It really just depends on what you're doing. For this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch it down 568A. So now you determine the colors you need and you go ahead and you separate each individual conductor. Now you have all your conductors untwisted. You're going to go ahead and you're going to match them on your keystone jack. Alright, now that you have all the conductors inside of the slots, you're going to go ahead and get your punch down tool and punch them down. Now you see the 110 blade as the flat side and then this pointy side. The point side is what actually cuts the cable. You want to make sure that this is on the outside of the keystone jack. You're going to cut the inside and it's not going to work. Now once you have your wires punched down, you want to go ahead and you want to take these strain relief clips and put them back on. This will prevent the wires from sliding out. Okay. Now that you have it punched down on this side, we're going to go ahead and put our RJ45 end on the other side of the cable. So once again, you will strip the jacket off. Now it's okay to strip extra off on this side as well because it helps you when you separate all the colors from each other. You can trim them down before you put them in the RJ45 jack. Once again, you go ahead and you're going to take the plastic center piece and you're going to cut it out. Now according to the color code that you use, you're going to go ahead and separate all the conductors and you want to keep them in line with the color code. Remember, as you're separating the colors, to go ahead and put them in the color code. Make your life a lot easier. Okay, now that you have all your color codes separated, you're going to need to determine the length of the conductors you need to have inside the RJ45 jack with the sleeve of the cable going in. Now you will see on the RJ45 jack, there's a little piece inside of there that once you clamp this, it's going to clamp to the jacket. So you want to make sure 
that your cable is going to go all the way in and be clamped down by that plastic piece. So now we've got a rough estimate of how long we need the conductors to be, we can now go ahead and cut the wires. When you slide this into the RJ45 jack, you want to make sure that each conductor slides into each pin and that none of them are split into the same one. You can also view from the side to see how far the conductor is on there. Once you have the jacket inside the RJ45 jack, you want to check the side and you want to check the front. Make sure that the copper conductor is all the way at the end of this RJ45 connector. Once you've determined that you have had you have the conductors all the way in and the jacket's where it needs to be, you go ahead and you take your crimp tool and you crimp it. Now if you look on these crimps, you'll see an 8P and a 6P. The 8P stands for 8 pin, the 6P stands for 6 pin. RJ45 is 8 pin, so you're going to use the 8P side. Now if you also look inside, you'll see one side has teeth. That's the side that needs to be crimped to these pins, so you want to make sure you put the, the RJ45 jack in the right way. So you go ahead and you slide in your RJ45 jack. Once that's in there, you give it a nice firm crimp and it will release when you're done. Give it a little tug. Now that it's on, you have our RJ45 crimped on. And now you have your CAT6 extension cable. To find these products on the web, go to www.monoprice.com. Click on the search bar and type in product ID number 5379, CAT6 Keystone Jack, product ID number 2261, CAT6 Wire, and product ID number 7055, the CAT6 Professional Networking Toolkit. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to contact Monoprice Tech Support Team via the live chat at monoprice.com. And don't forget to visit our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Once again, my name is Sean Blatherwick and I hope this tutorial will be helpful. Thank you for watching it and don't forget to stay tuned for more video tutorials. See you guys next time.